students. Today is the fifth lecture session, part two. Topic of the lecture Microsoft Access. In this video, we will cover the following topics. What is Microsoft Access? Short story. Important terms and basic objects. Microsoft Access data types. Keyboard shortcuts in Access. Primary tasks. Advantages of Mississippi Access, Disadvantages of Mississippi Access. Conclusion. What is Microsoft Access? Microsoft Access is a database management system offered by Microsoft. It uses the Microsoft Jet Database Engine and comes as a part of the Microsoft Office suite of application. Microsoft Access offers the functionality of a database and the programming capabilities to create easy-to-navigate screens, forms. It helps you analyze large amounts of information and manage data efficiently. Short Story Access 1 for Windows 3.0 was released in 1992. Initially, Mississippi Access was not included in the Mississippi Office package. This will only happen a year later, with the release of Access 2.0 for Windows X, Microsoft Office 4.3. Further version chronology. 1995, Access 7 for Windows 95, Microsoft Office 95. 1997, Access 97, Microsoft Office 97. 1999, Access 2000, Microsoft Office 2000. 2001, Access 2002, Microsoft Office SP. 2003, Access 2003, Bundled, Microsoft Office 2003. 2007, Microsoft Office Access 2007, from Microsoft Office 2007. 2010, Microsoft Office Access 2010, from Microsoft Office 2010. 2012, Microsoft Access 2013, from the Office suite of Microsoft Office 2013 applications. 2015, Microsoft Access 2016, from the Office suite of Microsoft Office 2016 applications. Important Terms and Basic Objects Now in this Microsoft Access tutorial, we will learn about some important terms and basic objects in Mississippi Access. Database File It is a file which stores the entire database. The database file is saved to your hard drive or other storage devices. Data types. Data types are the properties of each field. Every field has one data type like text, number, date, etc. Table. A table is an object which stores data in row and column format to store data. A table is usually related to other tables in the database file. Each column must have unique name. We can also define primary key in a table. Query. Queries answer a question by selecting and sorting and filtering data based on search criteria. Queries show a selection of data based on criteria limitations you provide. Queries can pull from one or more related tables and other queries. Types of query can be select, insert, update, delete. Form. A form is a database object that you can use to create a user interface for a database application. Forms help you to display live data from the table. It mainly used to ease the process of data entry or editing. Report A report is an object in desktop databases primarily used for formatting, calculating, printing, and summarizing selected data. You can even customize the report's look and feel. Macros Macros are mini computer programming constructs. They allow you to set up commands and processes in your forms, like searching, moving to another record, or running a formula. Modules. Modules are procedures, functions, which you can write using Visual Basic for applications, VivBar. Microsoft Access Data Types. Mississippi Access Common Data Types are listed below. Short text. Text, including numbers which does not need calculation. E, G, mobile numbers. Long text. This data type is used for lengthy text or alphanumeric data. Number. Numeric data type used for storing mathematical calculations. 
8 slash time store date slash time for the years 100 through 99.99 currency it allows you to store currency values and numeric data with one to four decimal places auto number assign a unique number assigned by microsoft access when any new record is created usually used as the primary key yes slash no it only stores logical values yes and no attachment it stores files such as digital photos multiple files can be attached per record olay objects olay objects can store audio video other binary large objects hyperlink text are combinations of text and numbers stored the text is used as hyperlink address calculated helps you to create an expression that uses data from one or more fields Keyboard shortcuts and access. Many users find keyboard shortcuts for access desktop databases to help them work more efficiently. For users with mobility or vision impairments, keyboard shortcuts replace the mouse. This article describes keyboard shortcuts for access on Windows. Notes. The keyboard shortcuts in this article are based on the US keyboard layout. The keyboard shortcuts for other keyboard layouts may differ from those shown here. In shortcuts where multiple keys are pressed at the same time, the key names are separated by a plus sign. If the keys are pressed sequentially, they are separated by a comma. Frequently used keyboard shortcuts. This table lists the most commonly used keyboard shortcuts in Access Desktop databases. Navigating the ribbon with access keys. The ribbon is the tab strip at the top of access. The appearance of the ribbon depends on the selected tab. It consists of groups, each of which, in turn, contains one or more commands. You can use only the keyboard to navigate the ribbon. Tooltips are special keyboard shortcuts that you can use to quickly jump to a command on the ribbon with just a few keys, no matter where you are in access. Every command in Access can be provided with a hint. Note, when you install an add-in or other program, new tabs may be added to the ribbon, for which the corresponding keyboard shortcuts are suggested. There are two ways to navigate tabs on the ribbon. To navigate to the ribbon, press Alt and then the left and right arrow keys to move between tabs. Use one of the following key tips to navigate to a tab on the ribbon. Working with ribbon tabs using the keyboard. Press Alt to go to the list of ribbon tabs. To go directly to a tab, press the keys from the keytip. Press the down arrow key to move to the selected group. Use C Retail, right arrow and C Retail, left arrow to navigate from one group of commands on the ribbon to another. Press Tab or Shift, Tab to navigate between commands in a group. You can navigate the commands forward and backward in order. Controls can be activated in different ways depending on their type. If a button is selected, press spacebar or enter to activate it. If you selected a split button, that is, a button that opens a menu with more options, press Alt, down arrow to activate it. Press the tab key to navigate between items. Press spacebar or enter to select the current item. If a list is selected, for example, the font list, press the down arrow key to open it. Then use the up arrow or down arrow key to move between the items. If you selected a collection, press spacebar or enter. Then press the tab key to move between items. Tip, in collections with multiple lines of items, pressing the tab key moves the focus from the first item to the last item on the current line. If the end of a line is reached, focus moves to the beginning of the next line. Pressing the right arrow at the end of a line will jump to the beginning. The table below provides instructions for moving the focus using the keyboard. Using key tips. You can display key tips, letters used to access commands using the keyboard, and then use them to navigate the ribbon. 1. Press the Alt key. Key tips are indicated in small squares next to each ribbon command. 2. To select a command, press the letter shown in the key tip next to it. 
additional hints may appear depending on the letter selected. For example, pressing Alt F opens Backstage View to the Details page, which uses a different set of tooltips. Pressing the Alt key again displays the key tips for the commands on the page. Working with database files. Opening and saving a database. Printing information from a database. Primary tasks. Microsoft Access works just like any other database. It stores related information and allows you to make connections, commonly referred to as relationships, between different things. Some of the main tasks done in Access include Create and maintain databases and their tables Configure rules and restrictions for the type of data that can enter into the database Build and run queries Create forms that allow non-technical users to enter data, search the database, and perform other tasks. Generate reports so the data can be presented in a more readable format or sent via duct email, print, etc. Create macros so that multi-step tasks can perform with a click of a button, or even when you open the database. Import and export data from external sources e.g. Excel spreadsheets, TXE files, etc. Advantages of Mississippi Access, Disadvantages of Mississippi Access Now in this Mississippi Access tutorial, we will learn the pros slash benefits for using Mississippi Access application. Access offers a fully functional, relational database management system in minutes. Easy to import data from multiple sources into Access. You can easily customize Access according to personal and company needs. Microsoft Access Online works well with many of the development languages that work on Windows OS. It is robust and flexible, and it can perform any challenging office or industrial database tasks. This Access allows you to link to data in its existing location and use it for viewing, updating, querying, and reporting. Allows you to create tables, queries, forms, and reports, and connect with the help of macros. Macros in Access is a simple programming construct with which you can use to add functionality to your database. Microsoft Access Online can perform heterogeneous joins between various data sets stored across different platforms. Here are the cons for using Mississippi Access. Microsoft Access database is useful for small to medium business sectors. However, it is not useful for large-sized organizations. Lacks robustness compared to DDN systems like Mississippi Scali Server or Oracle. All the information from your database is saved into one file. This can slow down reports, queries, and forms. Technical limit is 255 concurrent users. However, the real world limit is only 10 to 80, depending on the type of application which you are using. It requires a lot more learning and training compares with other Microsoft programs. Conclusion A database is a collection of information related to a specific topic or task, such as tracking customer orders or storing a collection of sound recordings. If the database is not stored on a computer, or only parts of it are stored on a computer, you have to track information from a number of other sources that the user must coordinate and organize on his own. Access DDMs provides the necessary tools for working with databases for an inexperienced user, allowing him to easily and easily create databases, enter information into them, process queries and generate reports. Unfortunately, the built-in help system does not clearly explain the operating procedure to a novice user, so there is a need for a manual. The scope of Microsoft Access can be divided into the following structures. Application in small and medium-sized businesses, counting, entering orders, maintaining customer information, maintaining information about business contacts, personnel, etc. In the development of programs and data warehouses to order, development of intra-industry applications, development of cross-industry applications, automation of some functions of enterprises in large corporations, applications for work groups, information processing systems, 
document flow as a personal D deems, directory of addresses, maintaining an investment portfolio, cookbook, catalogs of books, records, videos, etc. as a storage medium that is used in other applications. For example, one of the leaders among geographic information systems Arches, creates and uses MADID files as a personal geobase, that is, a data warehouse. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.